I remember the, the exact moment I was driving in my car going to work and uh, NPR was reporting on, on a huge earthquake in, in Haiti. I, I didn't really understand the scope of it at the time, but as soon as I heard that, I, I just, it, was, it was a strange sensation. I just felt a, a, a compelling force to go. I never really quite felt that in my life. My name is Kayvon Hariri. I, uh, I practice family medicine and urgent care in, in Manhattan Beach. I was trained at UCLA and um, I recently got involved with uh, International Medical Corps, um, IMC for short, and I, I did a uh, little over a two-week project in Haiti as part of a, a medical relief mission. The, f the first few days after the, the earthquake was it was just a complete disaster. It was, you know, it was kind of apocalyptic. Even people whose houses are still standing they're too scared to be in their houses because there's, you know, there's aftershocks and they don't want to be trapped in there. So the entire city is outside. Shops, everybody, people are living in camps and there's, cer there's certain clinics, mobile clinics that International Medical Corps is running associated with these camps. So we'd go there and, and patients would come and see us. And it's, it's pretty overwhelming because you, you just see, you know, there's, not only is there rubble and complete devastation everywhere, it, it takes, it's like it, you go through a period of shell shock for two, three days where you're just kind of disoriented and, and just taking it all in. And then you kind of become effective a little bit after that. Actually, the, the very first patient I saw was pretty much soon after I got off the bus into the general hospital was, was, a, um, was a kid, probably a two-year-old boy who had been there for a while. He was, he'd, uh, he'd, he'd had an amputation of his right arm and he had, uh, he had some kind of head wound and he was just kind of hanging out in the hospital and, and just, um, he was like a, a, a famous fixture there. But he was, he to me was symbolized, you know, the whole devastation in Haiti and, and what to expect. And, he, you know, it's, it's funny, as soon as I walked by him, he came right up to me, he was carrying a little water bottle. The water was so precious there and, and uh, he, had, he had a little canteen with him. He came right up to me like as if he knew me and I, and I souped down and, and, uh, and, and it was, I had to really fight back tears at that moment because I, I knew this is, yeah, this is going to be very intense, and that's really what uh, what I take away from there is, is you know that connection that I've, that I've made with them, and, and you see the strength that they have in going through such a a, a difficult time that that really teaches you a lot in, in terms of like how how strong the actual human character can be and how resilient. It, it's really inspirational.